guys dan selamat kembali ke Studio Sembang bersama saya Emilia dan hari ini in the studio kita ada penyanyi, pelakon, usahawan dan legend, okay? The legend in the studio today. We have Jacqueline Victor. Thank you so much. JV. <laughs> yeah, oh, is that it? I think okay. so. Okay, kita JV. pun boleh. JV. JV masa JV hari tu lah. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much sebab meluangkan masa bersama thank kami hari ni. Thank you sudi mengundang saya. Thank you, thank you. Hey, no, this is honestly my pleasure and macam salah satu impian untuk ada you kat dalam Aww. this show. Seriously, thank sebab you. saya membesar um, tengok awak menang Bila orang cakap macam tu terasa tak? Terasa dah tua. Tak, tak, tak. <laughs> really? Time tu, yeah, kita sebaya. <laughs> <laughs> no lah, but I can say kenal Emilia from a very young lama, age lama, kan. Lama, lama, yeah. Dulu zaman... Zaman sebelum Malaysian Idol sebelum orang kenal saya penyanyi apa nama uh, jingles jingles untuk radio. Ha, so I remember specifically mak kau. Ha, I remember specifically your voice then tu. Yeah, sebab kita nyanyi sama-sama walaupun tak pernah bertembung. I never really saw you, I don't think. No, no. Mm-mm. Tapi saya um I would always see you. Oh. Yeah, time you perform, I selalu ada um, And my mum and I pernah tengok Jack menyanyi atas pentas And my mum, mulut dia macam tenganga Sampai mm. macam her jaw dekat dekat the floor I, I pun macam, ha <laughs> <laughs> Sebab, uh, bila you masuk Because kita ada banyak sebenarnya topik nak discuss Tapi when you um, entered uh, Malaysian Idol um, Kita semua kat rumah Uh, peminat terbesar Dan untuk uh, Korang-korang yang Gen Z Yang tengah tengok Mungkin korang tak tahu Tapi dulu You kena macam SMS yeah. Mengundi votes So Satu keluarga Satu rumah Satu neighborhood kot Semua tengah Yay. mengundi Pada masa yang sama It was like You kena hantar Nama you To like yes. a specific number uh-huh. And <laughs> Malaysian Idol Jacqueline And kita semua hantar Setiap kali kita tengok yeah. Memang That that whole time was like Apa dia uh, Very Emotional Yeah. Very emotional So dari segi Kira macam penat dari segala tahap lah yeah. Segala tahap Segala segi Penat tahap dewa dari segala segi Emotionally, mentally, physically uh, Yeah Yeah I nak tanya banyak soalan yeah. sebenarnya Pasal Silakan. experience tu Tapi Kita startkan dulu dengan Maybe your um, Permulaan You know like of your childhood And everything okay. How was that like Macam mana you membesar Um, bila you start menyanyi Macam mana you tahu You ada minat Dekat bidang Nyanyian okay. Baik Semua itulah Ni banyak soalan Dan saya seorang pelupa So we take one by one <laughs> One by one One by one, one, by one. Okay So saya Anak sulung Adik-beradik saya Tiga orang Lelaki um, We came from a very Nak kata sederhana Not really We were below sederhana lah So we didn't have a lot of money Um Yelah boleh dikatakan miskin lah Tak ada, tak ada No luxuries in life No nothing um, And I Saya memang tahu My father memang suka menyanyi So selalu orang akan cakap Saya masa saya kecil Oh tahu tak dulu your father Especially bila dia dah meninggal My father meninggal tahun 1988 And I always get people coming to say Oh you know that Your father sang at my wedding I will like oh really So bila saya Time saya kecil tu Err uh, tak adalah saya terfikir, oh saya nak jadi penyanyi ke, saya pandai nyanyi ke, terror ke, apa ke, tak ada no. It was more like, I just love to sing. So, se- kerja saya tu je lah. Menyanyi, 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 menyanyi. So, I always get my brothers, they'll be like, can you just for God's sake just shut up. It's always what they're telling me. So, I am constantly singing. So, I would always come back from school, balik sekolah. Jangan makan, jangan apa, jangan tukar baju, tak ada. Ambil radio, ambil my favourite cassette at the time, ah... Uh, tak ingat lah album mana lah Mariah Carey punya album Whitney Houston punya album uh, What's the other one? Lionel Richie punya album And I would just play it And I would be screeching with with it You know yeah. Like just singing So Minat saya uh, Kalau bab menyanyi tu Sebesar tu lah Saya tak fikir makan Tak tak fikir tidur Tak fikir apa Fikir nak nyanyi oh. So um, And if you ask my mom She will say That was an Okay you guys are pr- You probably very young kan So ada satu iklan Cutie Kira. Ingat tak? Cutie Kira. I ingat Cutie Kira, It's yes. It's the powder, I think orange colour with white something. Yeah, it was whatever. like zaman-zaman dulu punya <coughs> yeah, ads. Yeah, sangat dulu. Yang, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's <laughs> me semua sebelum so, Netflix dan YouTube. Yeah. If I was, maybe, I don't know, my mum would say lah, time tu dah boleh berdiri in yeah. the court. Yeah. So the minute the advertisement comes on, I would be... Baby talk when yeah. I'm singing lah konon. <laughs> so <laughs> that's the earliest that my mom can recall lah saya punya suka nak menyanyi, suka music. Yeah. So I'll be crying ke whatever ke. And I was a cry baby by the way. 
So bila tiba-tiba iklan yang itu eh, Specifically that QTQ right at I will I'll get up I'll stand And I'll be rocking and swaying and singing yeah. So I've Yelah boleh dikatakan Almost my whole life I've uh, ada Apa benda uh, Minat Minat mm-hmm. Yang Like a Like a huge uh, Liking to To singing Yeah, tapi Big bakat like juga singing. Okay, yeah, <laughs> sounded right. <laughs> um, yeah, tapi saya tak pernah terfikir lah apa apa. It's just that I really like to sing. So itu je lah kerja saya kat rumah. Yeah. Mm. Um, so I also baca yang you started actually performing dan bekerja sebagai seorang penyanyi umur 18 tahun. Uh, lebih kurang macam tu. Around uh, there. 17, 18 years old maybe. How? Mm. Macam mana benda tu boleh berlaku dan um, was your mom very supportive? Mm. Yeah. Okay, so sewaktu so saya kat sekolah, uh, it was Moral Week. Moral Week, so time tu perhimpunan, orang minta lah beberapa orang daripada Moral Class nak kena berdiri dekat depan everybody, stand in front of everybody during uh, perhimpunan and nak suruh menyanyi lagu hijau. Zainal Abidin. Oh. So, uh, okay lah. So, dia pecah-pecah kempat. So, dia bagi apa semua. Lepas tu, saya nyanyi je lah. Yeah. So, saya tak fikir. I, I I know that I'm really shy. And I'm like, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Everybody's looking at me. Tapi, dekat atas dekat atas stage. Bukan atas stage lah. Dekat depan semua orang. Kat, it was a platform or something. Masa masa perhimpunan. Mm-hmm. So, I'm standing there. Kepala ke bawah. Tapi, sa- dah sampai... Ta- Uh, saya punya turn Nak menyanyi tu Saya nyanyi lah Bila saya nyanyi I just remember The whole assembly going Wow mm-hmm. <laughs> And suddenly I'm like Eh what, what's happening here So then lepas tu uh, Dah habis okay lah Dah habis nyanyi apa semua Saya turun uh, Waktu tu lah Semua orang datang kat saya Kata eh You boleh nyanyi lah You boleh nyanyi Saya like, okay Ya yeah. Bila um, <coughs> Macam mana awak Start um, Perform Dan Mulakan kejaya okay. sebagai seorang penyanyi Baiklah, sorry Terlepas one whole big section of my life Okay <laughs> Tak apa, tak apa uh, Okay Saya mungkin time tu Dah jam 4 Dah jam 4, dah jam 5 It was Christmas time So they wanted uh, Dua orang, tiga orang Budak-budak Just to to sit at the side of the stage To sing for the nativity play Yeah. So saya pun duduk lah Dengan sepupu saya So piano teacher tengah duduk kat tengah saya ke sebelah ni, sepupu saya kat sebelah sini. Lepas tu, she's playing and we're just singing lah. So, dia yang stop main, dia pandang saya. Dia kata, eh, you boleh nyanyi. I'm looking at her thinking, um, okay. Yeah. So, again, because I was only in Senate 4, I said, tak adalah nak, oh, saya pandai menyanyi, tak adalah. Yeah. But, um, so that was the, kira macam titik permulaan lah sejak daripada tu. Because people always assume, bila saya cakap nyanyi di church, people yeah. always assume saya menyanyi dengan sebuah choir. Tapi yeah. saya tak pernah nyanyi dengan choir. Uh, setiap kali saya menyanyi dekat church Saya akan menyanyi secara solo um, So somebody will play the piano And I will sing Yeah. So every Christmas ke Every New Year ke Every Easter ke Apa ke Ada je lah orang akan kata Jom nyanyi I'll be like okay um, And then moving on Sekolah I think mungkin tingkatan dua ke apa ke Kena menyanyi di depan uh, Perimpunan Untuk Minggu Moral Lagu uh, Datuk Zainal Abidin Lagu hijau. So, um, dia dah bagi-bagikan parts dia. Tiba masa saya nak menyanyi, saya ni kan pemalu. So, saya berdiri atas pentas, pentas lah. Pentas and uh, saya tengah pandang ke bawah sebab saya malu. Um, and then, pak saya nyanyi, uh, nak nyanyi tu pun, saya tengah nyanyi. Uh, bila dah habis saya punya line, oh, I just open my mouth. I cannot remember. And I I literally can still remember the whole perimpunan going, wah. Wow. <laughs> so, for me, it's like, eh, kenapa ni, kenapa ni? Um, and then lepas daripada tu uh, Even I feel the teachers who were not so um, Aware of my presence in class <laughs> yeah. Were suddenly like Hey I didn't know you could sing I'm like okay yeah. teacher you didn't really ask me But okay <laughs> um, And then um, Moving on from that I think masa saya dalam form 5 Macam tu form 5 Another one of my church members Who's from Melaka Dekat Melaka dia ada dia punya band sendiri Dengan uncle-uncle dia Dengan cousin-cousin dia So satu hari tu dia kata Come lah Ikut saya nyanyi with For somebody's wedding um, Come and sing I say okay So that was the very first gig I would say that I got paid for Wow Yeah And um, after that Lepas sekolah It just went on and on And yeah. finally I auditioned with another band uh, And then I got pulled into this brand new band. Tapi semua kat dalam tu otai-otai. 
mm-hmm. yang banyak pengalaman. Nanti my drama Jerry Felix time tu dia he was already in the Malaysian Book of Guinness Records for the longest. I think sebab dia start main drums sejak umur tujuh tahun and time tu dia dah saya tak ingat lah. Uh-huh. So for the longest hardest rock drummer toured in Europe lah apalah semua so, semua otai tiba-tiba ada seekor ni kecil muda tak ada pengalaman <laughs> but dah uh, di situlah saya belajar segala apa yang saya perlu nak belajar it was I consider it my university college mm-hmm. whatever um, still sangat malu tapi di situlah saya kena mengatasi perasaan malu-malu tu kena belajar teknik walaupun saya tak pergi sekolah saya tak um, belajar vokal ke apa ke but that was where I learn I learn through my mistakes mm-hmm. And then subsequently, there was uh, some other competitions, but the main one and life-changing one was obviously Malaysian Idol. Yeah. Um, but my mum, eh, eh, lupa lah. Apa ni? Bongok lah kau ni. Clubs. Yes. I did you Obviously with the band. That's yeah. why I sang in clubs. And that's where I had to learn my craft. Asah balik apa yang... Again, sebab saya tak pergi sekolah. Bukan sekolah. Tak pergi belajar vocal. So, saya <laughs> tak pandai nak... Um, Like theor- theoretically don't know how to explain stuff Tapi melalui pengalaman yeah. So if you you know Banyak kalau pengalaman. you nyanyi macam ni Untuk time, like a very long time You're going to lose your voice So you learn how to You learn things through experience <coughs> What else am I saying to you? Uh, and then Malaysian Idol yeah. And then the rest is history Okay, so next next I question I lot, I'm so you. sorry my dear Tak, 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 it's okay <coughs> dah, dah jawab dah semua soalan I think okay. pasal that face I think um, Tapi seterusnya Obviously Malaysian Idol Tu yang memang um, Yang melonjakkan nama Yeah the, It was a huge experience I think Tapi sebelum tu um, You already had An album Dream mm. Setahun sebelum tu So mm. Dalam proses ni um, Boleh nampak yang Maybe awak Sudah membuat keputusan yang uh, Awak memang nak jadi Seorang penyanyi Betul Mm, boleh dikatakan macam tu lah. Yeah. So, because time tu saya bersama kawan saya. Um, and dia memang pandai tulis lagu. Mm-mm. Very, very good at writing lyrics. Um, coming up with melodies. Mm-mm. Ataupun dia akan main apa-apa chord. I'll be like, oh, apa kata kita nyanyi macam ni. Mm-mm. Nyanyi macam tu. So, that was my first kira pengalaman dalam... If you want to call it songwriting. Yeah. Um, Don't know what I'm doing. Don't know anything. Yeah. I'm just like, okay, let's go into the studio yeah. and mess around. Yeah. So that time, time too, so that the label ke apa ke, I wasn't yeah. signed to. <clears throat> I wasn't signed to like a major label or anything. What is wrong with my voice? <clears throat> <clears throat> Water? No, no. Good, good, good. I'm okay. good. I'm good. I'm just tired. So uh, time too, that lah. I signed with a label, uh, besar ke apa ke. Mm-hmm. It was just a little. I would call it a project mm-hmm. that we thought, okay, let's. We got these songs mm-hmm. Pantai je lah Just do lah mm-hmm. So that's what we did Actually that gave me A lot of trouble Masa Malaysian Idols Sebab orang cakap Oh professional singer Mana Acik Dia masuk Yeah. Uh, dia ada album sendiri I'm like yeah Tapi saya tak ada Recording contract yeah. So salah satu syarat um, Nak menyertai Malaysian Idol time tu You you tak boleh ada A recording contract Yeah. Dan memang Sebab itu dia kira pun. Macam professional professional. Katanya lah yeah. because, because Because the main prize Was a recording contract Ah, so kalau tak nak berlawan are, yeah. yeah Yeah So so One of the things Yang saya ingat time tu Is like That I had an album So Tak acik lah Yeah faham. Sebenarnya mana boleh dia ni masuk yeah. Tapi sebenarnya okay je Cuma Maybe pemahaman orang time tu They, they, they weren't sure Diorang kurang, kurang yeah. faham Nama Tapi lah. Kenapa you buat keputusan Untuk masuk Malaysian Idol Dan apa macam reaction Family Dengan Kawan you pada masa tu Bila awak nak masuk pertandingan ni Okay Uh, my family dah, Sejak mula lah My mom has always been like Very very supportive Memang Dia sangat suka um, Saya menyanyi um, One of the things I get asked all the time Sebelum saya beli kereta Saya yang pertama Saya travel with Taxi kan mm. Lepas tu um, Saya sedar time tu Especially if it's an Indian driver <laughs> They'll be like Your mother lets you go out at night Yeah <laughs> And like oh So of course they will Especially were... performances yang lewat semua tu kan Yelah yelah yeah. So kalau dia tahu kita nak pergi club je Terus muka dia akan macam Ya ke betul ke Mak, mak you bagi ke Keluar dalam hmm. thinking Okay maybe next time Bila diorang tanya Tak payahlah nak cakap Pergi, <laughs> pergi kerja Kita cakap menyanyi Dia orang salah, sang, salah faham salah ke faham. Dia salah sangka hmm. ke apa kan um, But my mom was I think It was a Trust thing Like she knew that I was a good girl mm-hmm. So she was very supportive Um 
So bila I think Masa tu Fantasia Berino Tengah bertanding Dalam American Idol Yang keberapa Tak saya tak ingat But That was the time That they were actually Showing it on TV In mm-hmm. Malaysia <coughs> So I was like Wow Wow Bestnya pertandingan ni So no idea That they were actually Going to bring the franchise To Malaysia So satu hari tu So okay lah Saya nyanyi club kan So of course Habis kerja lambat Uh, when you're like so hyper Then you come back tak, tak adalah kita terus nak tidur mm-hmm. So I would always sleep very late So my mom knows not to wake me up She won't wake me up early um, But one day Dia masuk bilik Saya dia buka pintu tu Dia baca ni baca ni baca ni oh, Mata pun tak boleh buka Apa benda ni kan yeah. newspaper And the heading was um, Malaysian idol is coming to Malaysia Or something And who knows Someone from Kepung Could win world idol Wow. So I'm from Kepung. Wow! <laughs> so I was like, wow. oh my goodness, you have to join this competition. I'm like, okay, mom. Now I'm gonna go back to sleep. So anyway, it was a big thing because <laughs> uh, she just barged into the room like, read this, read this. I'm like, okay. Um, yeah. So so pada masa tu hanya siapa-siapa yang pergi ke like a lounge in the hotel ke club ke whatever yang akan kenal saya time tu lah Mm-mm. because I think I was the only Indian girl. I think at the time For a long time I was the only mm. Indian girl So I stood out um, And so Sesiapa yang tahu lah Time tu kawan-kawan saya Yang selalu datang tengok saya Apa semua Bila dia orang dah tahu That I'm going to that There was such a competition They were all like Eh go for it lah yeah. Kau masuk lah Mesti kau pandang Ya yeah, yeah, sure 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 <laughs> uh, and, and mula-mula Saya macam Alah tak payahlah Because Of course Bila kita dah commit Nak masuk pertandingan yeah. Because it's a TV program yeah. You kena bagi banyak Masa Mm-mm. So Kalau kerja kita Yang dah sedia ada tu Maybe you can't commit mm-hmm. So I was thinking oh, This is going to be a bit Susah So tak payahlah kot Nantilah nantilah So in the end Bukan saya yang register tau Adik saya yang pergi daftarkan for me Wow My brother wanted to take part as well So dia register untuk diri dia Then dia, dia I'm going to do it for you So dia buatkan Dia buatkan last last Dia tak pergi pun Huh? Because Something lah He got a job somewhere or something So So I took part lah yeah. um, Cabaran saya sewaktu bertanding dalam Malaysian Idol Is the whole sleep thing Because That's saya cool. dah biasa tidur lambat, bangun oh. lambat Tiba-tiba kat sini kena tidur at normal sleeping hours And wake up super early kan Wah memang zombie lah time tu mm-hmm. So kalau awak tanya saya Most of the time saya tak tahu macam mana saya boleh nyanyi pun Because I'm just a zombie I'm just like a walking zombie Um tapi tup tap tup tap tup tap next thing you know I'm in the finals I'm like whoa yeah. that went by very quickly yeah um and that was it but but everybody who knew that I was in the competition were very very supportive which yeah. was amazing um yeah 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 even even my my compet my competitors lah my kawan kawan yeah. dalam tandingan tu I think it was um because ini adalah episode episode black first season yeah So, memandangkan ini adalah musim pertama Malaysian Idol Kita pun tak tahu kenapa cerita macam mana apa semua So, the top 12 sampai ke hari ni eh This year is dah 19 tahun sejak uh, season pertama uh, Kita punya perhubungan 19 Ya, yeah, 19 tahun oh I know <laughs> uh, Perhubungan kita orang still very close mm-hmm. So, Sebab, it's just mm, a nice um, Yeah Mm, dalam perikatan saya at least I think Malaysian Idol Di antara pertama Di antara yang pertama punya show Reality Singing Yang antarabangsa Kalau bukan Yang pertama Yang antarabangsa Yang pernah masuk Malaysia So pada masa tu American Idol Was like The hype lah Ya yeah, Show yang terbesar Dan kita semua akan duduk depan TV Pukul 7 Petang untuk tengok American Idol Satu negara akan tengok show ni sama-sama Sebab kita tak ada streaming Kita tak ada on demand mm, mm, Semua tu masa tu And so bila dia ada Malaysian version Wow lagi gigi kan? orang Malaysia <laughs> tengok Semua akan tengok Malaysian Idol Sebab kita rasa macam kita punya sekarang Kita dapatlah American uh, American Idol ni Tapi vers, versi kita Betul? So Tak ada siapa tak tengok You perform I think so lah Ya yeah. <laughs> Ta- tapi, be- tapi betul Sebab It was such a Dia macam fenomena <coughs> yang Yang Luar-luar biasa And Daripada apa yang kita nampak sekarang pun reality show Yes Zaman yes. AF Zaman They had a few competitions Yeah So it was It was the thing 
Ya, yeah. sangat. And dari situ, um, you... Satu Malaysia jatuh cinta dengan Yay, Jacqueline Victor. Yeah. Jatuh cinta ke? Jatuh cinta <laughs> sampai sekarang. Tapi adakah itu something yang you ever expected? No. Yeah. Because I say, saya seorang pemalu. Saya mungkin bila awak tengok saya sekarang, you you might not think that I'm uh, pemalu lah. Mm-hmm. Tapi sebenarnya I'm like painfully shy. Mm. Um, so, and I, even when I started singing in clubs kan, I macam, kenapa saya nak kena bercakap dengan orang? Kenapa saya nak kena menari? Kenapa saya nak kena ada koreografi? Saya nak menyanyi je. Mm-hmm. Obviously, saya time tu tak begitu pandai. <laughs> so, I'm like, can I just have a big curtain in front of me and then I just, just sing? Suara je keluar. Ah, yeah. I'm macam, why nak menyanyi je kot? Like, and yeah. then, um, so yeah, I didn't, it was, it was agak susah lah. Because camera sentiasa je ikut kita yeah. time tu. Reality show kan, dia yeah. nak tangkap all your... Your your backstage uh, moments, your segala apa lah. Mm-hmm. So I was like, no, this is traumatizing, man. Camera merata rata, you pergi merata sama lah dengan ikut je. So I'm like, so I was not used to that. It took a lot of years for me to get used to that. And also, I just didn't think that I was going to win because say what's how did they say it in English? Uh, I am my worst enemy. Mm, or your mm. biggest critic? Yes. So walaupun judges kata like, okay, wow. I'll be like, no, no, no. There was a note that I went slightly macam ni ke, macam tu ke. So, I'm like, terlampau. Perfectionist. Ha. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. So, I was a bit like that. So, that's why saya macam terkejut setiap kali dia panggil nama saya untuk mara ke next round, next round, next round. I'm like, really? Oh my goodness, you're giving me a chance? Oh my goodness. Itulah cakap. Dah lah, zombie. Lepas tu, <laughs> pom, 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 pom. Next thing, you know, I'm at the final. So, it was really yeah. a whirlwind of a a journey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Tapi dari situ, um, uh, Adakah itu momen yang um, kehidupannya macam berubah? Oh, sangat-sangat segalanya. berubah. Segalanya. Saya rasa untuk beberapa bulan setelah saya menang tu, saya macam kena cubit. <laughs> Did yeah. I actually win? Is this going to yeah. be... Uh, like, I wake up from a dream and it's actually a dream. Yeah. So, yeah. I Memang tak boleh percaya. Memang sangat-sangat tak boleh percaya. Because saya antara yang paling... Dalam top 12 tu, saya yang antara yang paling tua. Mm-mm. Uh, saya, I was the only non-Malay, I was the only Indian dari masa top 100. Mm-hmm. 100 atau 150, I was the only Indian girl left. Only Indian. Um, I don't know lah. So, saya punya nak kata harapan tinggi sangat tak? Saya tahu saya suka nak menyanyi dan saya agak perfectionist time tu. Um, and I just want to sing lah. At the end of the day, Menang, menang mm-hmm. Tak menang, tak apa So memang tak expect um, but, Tapi bila saya dah sampai dekat Finals tu I was just Nervous Praying at the back of stage I'm just saying Okay lah, you brought me this far I'm sure you got a plan for me Yeah So I'm just gonna sing I think yeah. Buat pertama kali eh, The whole competition kan Finals lah Saya punya nervous tu kurang sikit Because I'm like Kau dah sampai kat sini Just buat je lah Hmm Do or die. Sink or swim. Ya, yeah, dah terima either way kan. So, kalau tak menang pun tak apa tempat kedua. Ada sesuatu lah tu. Kau dah yeah. sampai dekat penghujung dia. Buat je lah. Just buat je. So, I just sang lah. Ya. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then, so lepas competition ni, you went on to sing and sing and sing and sing. And so, you uh, ada beberapa album. Semua yang iconic-conic which is I akan baca. Kita ada Gemilang mm. tahun 2004. Mm. Inilah Jack 2006. Inilah Jack edisi terhad 2007 <laughs> Jacqueline Victor 3 2009 Dan ikut rentakku 2013 mm. So my next question is um, Actually there's tiga suara as well Tiga suara as well Collaboration Tak ingat pula tahun berapa So um, tak ingat 2011 kot uh, Collaboration dengan Ning Bazura And Sheila Amsah Oh yes 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 yeah. Kita baru tengok Actually kita dah macam uh, Playback kan Semua lagu you Semua Everything Everything Yay. Sebelum you masuk tadi Kita semua tengah macam karaoke Sambil-sambil sambil, macam Tapi korang jangan karaoke Lepas sejak uh, Jarak sampai Sebab nanti kita akan malukan diri Depan the original, sing, uh, original singer Okay Tapi hmm. dalam banyak-banyak lagu Yang you keluarkan pada masa tu And dalam banyak-banyak lagu Yang iconic Ada tak mana-mana cerita menarik Ataupun memory menarik Ataupun Mana satu I tahu dia macam Maybe susah Sebab semua lagu ni Mesti dekat dengan Your heart kan Kira cerita eh Ya yeah. Semuanya Ada 
what's the word a uh, special place in my heart lah tapi kalau saya nak kena sebut mm, a particular song can i mention a particular album boleh Okay, album Tiga Suara tu eh. Okay, so sebab ini adalah gabungan Tiga Suara. Memang betul Tiga Suara. Mm. Um, kita merakamkan album ini dalam beberapa hari sahaja. Tiga orang penyanyi yang masuk studio lain-lain eh. Asing-asing. Asing-asing? Oh. Asing-asing. Semua lagu memang sedap gila nak mampus. Can I say mampus? Okay. Can, 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 can. can. Um, and... Disebabkan kita rakam asing-asing, kita tak, tak boleh nak bayangkan the finished product. Tapi bila kita dengar, we were like so masuk. So wow, like yeah. wow, macam mana producer dia boleh bayangkan eh sebab kita yang menyanyi lagu tu pun macam tak nampak dia punya betapa cantiknya, you know, the, yeah. the end product was like so amazing. And because we recorded separately, so I just thought like, wow, man. Yeah. Yeah, that was an amazing album. Ah, uh, kalau lagu saya yang sendiri Hmm, cerita. Hmm, I don't actually know lah. <laughs> They all have some sort of story. Yeah. Um, I think one of my biggest challenges is apa tau? Hmm. Yeah. Sebab saya dah menyanyi dekat club tu lama. Yeah. Dan saya dah terbiasa sangat dengan ada band dekat belakang saya. Yeah. Kira yang mengiringi saya. Dia punya energy is very different from kalau you nyanyi kat dalam studio. Yeah. Dalam booth, recording booth tu seorang-seorang. Mm-hmm. So that one also saya terpaksa Mengambil masa bertahun juga Rasanya nak belajar Macam mana nak menyampaikan A song that is To be recorded in a studio mm. It's very different ball game So bila kita menyanyikan lagu secara live Dan menyanyikan dalam studio Memang sangat lain So yeah. benda tu saya memang macam tak faham Sebab rasa macam Kalau saya nyanyi live ni Saya nak buat segala macam acrobatics Apa benda But yeah. when you do it in a studio It's like Rasa macam Kalau Dia cakap kasar eh, Macam Macam tepat kepekit lah So that was something I needed to learn um, From the beginning of my career Sampai Untuk beberapa tahun lah Untuk saya faham Live lain daripada yeah. Nyanyi dalam studio So that was a big struggle This is uh, Something yang saya pun Baru belajar sekarang yeah. <laughs> Saya tak pernah so, Memang lain, memang lain. Oh. Yeah, Sebab maybe sebab bila you dekat atas pentas Dapat banyak tenaga Dari macam yes. orang kat belakang Dan um, audience. audience juga Completely yeah. dia, dia ibarat macam Kalau kita berlakon kan Dalam teater Versus dalam yes. film Benda lain juga sebenarnya Ya yeah. Sebab yeah. you dapat Response immediately Daripada audience Ya yeah. yeah. hmm. um, Did you face any Macam pressure Pada masa tu Selepas you dah menang Macam harapan um, Peminat-peminat ke 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 tak seberapa? Um, saya rasa pressure because saya banyak bertanding dalam tu gigih. So, I was taking part in a lot of competitions and saya ma- rasa macam ada ada anxiety. Time tu kuat minum kopi. <laughs> uh, lepas tu bertanding. Um, so, yeah, I was under a lot of pressure in that sense because orang akan ada dia punya expectations lah mengharapkan whatever apa yeah. apa semua. So, kita kena sentiasa on point like you you vocally you kena I mean what's the word um you, you got to be like so on point with everything mm. from from the from the way you sing your stage punya what's it called the presence, presence performance, on yeah. performance on stage and everything so <clears throat> yalah yeah nak kit i mean bila you seorang penyanyi ke pelakon ke or kira somebody in the limelight memang orang akan sentiasa ada sesuatu untuk Yeah. To say, you know, yeah. so feedback. Um, uh, and sometimes saya, saya sangat berfikiran terbuka. So if you have something to say, even if it's something yang tak berapa nak elok pun saya kan dok fikir kenapa dan macam mana saya nak baiki benda ni. Mm-hmm. If you don't, if you're not strong like that, nanti saya rasa memang akan sakit jiwa. Yeah, sakit jiwa confirm. dengan terlampau ramai orang nak bercakap. Uh, sometimes ada kebenaran You know Behind whatever this person is saying Sometimes it's just Because I can say I want to say lah mm. So we have to be strong lah Ya yeah, <laughs> macam dari Yang yang wujudkan pressure tu dalam Oh yes pressure Ya yeah. yeah. So kita sebagai penyanyi Dan kita baru menang time tu Lepas tu menang lagi ke apa ke So dia akan sentiasa ada That The, the Expectation is, orang yeah, yeah, yeah That you you nak puaskan hati semua orang mm. Faham So Selepas um, selepas itu uh, 2008 you started to act 
Mm. And then 2009 kita dapat bekerja sekali lagi yes. dalam talent time, time juga um, which is sebenarnya watak yang berat juga. And pada masa tu boleh nampak macam you started doing a little bit of acting, ada musical juga um, dan macam-macam. So macam mana you membuat keputusan untuk berlakon pula? Dan apa pendapat you sebenarnya pasal dunia lakonan? Okay. Saya diberikan peluang. Bukan saya mencari peluang ni. Tapi diberikan. So memang jatuhlah atas saya punya riba ni. Riba? Peha. Riba. Peha, peha is satu. Peha. Riba is the collective. Riba, riba. Yes. Okay. Atas riba saya. Uh, saya berjumpa dengan um, the late Yasmin Ahmad. Mak, yeah. On a talk show. And so saya tengah tunggu turn saya lah So sekarang ni dia de- tengah-tengah uh, live or, or whatever it was being recorded So saya duduk lah kat belakang Saya tak pernah jumpa dia in person Tapi saya macam Rasa macam wow Dia ni macam orang besar I just felt she was so amazing um, So I'm standing there watching her uh, So bila dia dah habis Dia punya interview apa so dia, dia ke belakang stage Dia nampak saya kat situ I think it was a commercial break or something Dia terus pandang saya Dia kata hey I think you can be Bavani. Dia tak ada salam, tak ada hello, hi Jack, I'm whatever ke. Tak ada tau. Terus, I think you can be Bavani. I macam pelik lah. Oh my God, she's talking to me. She's talking to me. Uh, so, I macam sepandang dia. Lepas tu dia macam, yeah, yeah, I think you can be Bavani. I was like, okay. Then she's like, okay, I'm shooting a film baru dia. Mm-hmm. Dia explain, dia kata, I'm shooting a film. Uh, Saya so nak you jadi kakak kepada watak utama. I said, um... Okay, but I don't act. So, memang saya tak pernah fikir. Saya rasa saya memang sebenarnya tak boleh berlakon pun. Uh, dia kata, jangan risau. Boleh, no. boleh. Jangan percaya, no. jangan percaya. No. Um, so, dia kata, tak apa, jangan risau. Nanti akan ada latihan apa semua sebelum kita roll. Uh-huh. So, I pun macam, okay lah, Yasmin Ahmad kot, gila. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> so, I was like, okay. So, we went on, uh, we did, we had a lot of rehearsals, apa semua. So, kita shoot lah. Uh, that's where I met you again yes. For so many years yes. um, Yeah uh, Daripada situ Saya buat Cuci the Musical And then I had another film um, Apelem Iaitu Papadum vs. Tamil Yeah um, So I think itu je kot Yang antara Tiga kali yang Tiga Tiga yang... Ch- uh, Chances lah I had to act Yang jahat berlakon So pendapat saya Pasal berlakon Secara jujurnya Saya <laughs> It was a fun experience. Banyak yang saya belajar daripada Yasmin Ahmad and the whole team. Um, so, something yang macam... Dia, dia, bila kita menyanyi, kita menyanyi the words that need to be emphasized untuk keluarkan dia punya segala perasaan, emosi apa semua. Tapi bila kita berlakon, dia lain macam sikit. Tapi saya rasa apa yang saya belajar dekat Sebab berlakon tu saya boleh apply dekat menyanyi. Mm-mm. So that kind of an experience yang memang best. Tapi secara jujurnya kenapa kalau tanya why I didn't yeah. continue acting. It's not my cup of tea. Yeah. Cup of tea. Cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> so I just took it as an experience. My main bread and butter was menyanyi. Yeah. So saya pulang ke pangkal jalan yang benar. <laughs> <laughs> ya yeah, tapi sebenarnya kan macam what are you dalam talent time? Memang Dan berat sikit kan? Berat. Kena lompang, sepak yes. terajang. And cara Jack bawa watak tu memang sangat hebat. Thank you. Ya. Yeah. Itu macam di antara scene-scene dalam talent time kalau korang tengok ataupun pernah tengok yang uh, membuatkan penonton titis air mata semua. Ui, hujan. Yeah. Thank you. Sebab itu di antara di antara macam yeah, yeah, yeah. yang paling berat yeah. dalam filem tu sebenarnya. Filem tu nampak je macam light tapi sebenarnya yeah. banyak point kat dalam. Itu yang paling is... cantik about Yes, Yasmin Ahmad's films. films. Dia yeah. memang light-light tapi sebenarnya the message and whatever in the film is like whoo. Yeah. Gempak. Sangat. Yeah. Cuma um, yeah. I just wish kita dapat satu pun scene together. I cukup puas yeah, hati. Tak dapat kan? Tak ada. Macam ada satu lah. Dekat, dekat hujung. Dekat the time yang diorang tengah buat persembahan dekat sekolah tu. Kita semua kena ada. Mm. Yeah. I don't think I was there kot. No, tak ada. Rasanya tak ada kot. Tapi definitely <laughs> the, the, the premiere semua. Premier, ada yeah, viewing yeah, party yeah, 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 kan yeah, yeah, time tu yeah, dengan yeah, mak. Ya. Ya, ya, ya. Oh, lama cerita tu. Sangat. Ya, yeah, and then kita orang shooting dekat Ipoh. Kalau Ipoh. tak silap for like a month, two months macam tu. Ipoh, Ya. Yeah. Oh my God, tu. Amazing. Ya, yeah, sangat-sangat lama lah cerita tu. So, selepas tu kita nak cakap pasal awards pula. Okay. Sebab, <coughs> Jack di antara yang penyanyi ni Malaysia yang paling legend. Aduh, yang paling banyak like menerima... Uh, <laughs> 
anugerah atas um, apa yang Zack dah achieve sebenarnya which is thank you ya yeah, just sampai sekarang dia di antara yang paling iconic dan paling legendary thank ever you. Ya, yep. so dalam um, perjalanan Jack sebagai seorang penyanyi, um, I ada the whole list of all of the awards and stuff like that. Mm. Adakah apa perasaan um, Jack bila Jack first menerima anugerah atas nyanyian? Do you remember? Uh, album Gemilang won quite a few uh, yeah. awards. Saya macam tak percaya, like I say, yeah. it took me a while to like be able to swallow the fact that I won the competition. Yeah. Lepas tu menang anugerah pula tu. I was like, wow, really? 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 Yeah. Is this happening? Um, yeah. So, sangat berbesar hati. I just feel so blessed. Yeah. Sampai ke, sampai hari ni, saya rasa macam, wow. Um, semenjak menang Malaysian Idol hari tu, memang so many beautiful things have happened. Um, saya sekarang menyanyi untuk orang-orang yang Like another level altogether. One of the, one of my biggest achievements, I think. Che, biggest achievements. Ah, uh, saya menyanyi untuk President Barack Obama di Istana Negara. That was awesome. Itu memang sangat 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 lah awesome. Lepas tu kita sempat kan lepas dan nyanyi dekat kalau yeah. Istana. We all have to wait outside kan. Yeah. Kita beratur kat luar dan dia datang. <laughs> saya macam segan. How do you ask the 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 pre, uh, president of the United States for a picture? So I said to my manager, I was like, "Nanti aku jabat tangan kau ambil gambar tau." <laughs> so I have that picture. I was oh like, my god, so awesome! And I like the fact that he was so gracious. You know, like a lot of people, uh, okay lah, dia buat hal sendiri. Kita on kita on tengah nyanyi, kita on tengah makan, ke apa ke? But I could actually see that he was. So that's a very big sign of respect there, like yeah. because you you are performing. And he's like, this is President of the United States. He's actually watching, and then he's talking to the people beside him. I think uh, the late uh, Agong Sultan Kedah time too. Yeah. So he was like, but he's listening to what the king is saying, but he's still watching, kind of thing. So it was kind of nice, lah. And then he invited me to go to the White House. Ah! Oh my God! And then I couldn't go. Why? Can I put? I put it there. Yeah. Kalau tak silap, I was supposed to sing with Stevie Wonder. I know, right? Jack! I know, right? Tapi I had signed up for a charity show untuk something. Takkanlah I nak back out a charity show. <laughs> I know, right? I know, right? <laughs> Stabbed in the heart by the chicken. No! Yeah. Sad. Anyway. Yeah, but that was one of the biggest um, things. Yeah, so I've traveled... <laughs> Are you laughing, my dear? No, I'm not laughing. I'm going to cry. I'm not laughing. Oh my god! Stress, kan? Yeah. Coba yang kan. I macam dah okay. Keputusan yang 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 manis, pilihan yang dah atau pemimpi yang macam ngeri dah. Yeah. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Yeah, but that was huge. Yeah. Yes. Maksudnya macam time yang you perform in front of him, dia betul betul dengar. Yes. Like, Jack Lee Victor is awesome. Who is this Indian girl from Malaysia? Yeah, she's gonna come to the States. <laughs> I'm so sad, man. Yeah, of anyway, course. I can lah. imagine. Oh, wow. Bila What a lagi, story. Takkan lah. Lepas dia. Because he was very into music, kan? Yeah. Dia seorang je kot yang ada concert kat White House kan? Tak silap lah. Uh, I think so. I, macam pernah dengar. Lepas-lepas daripada tu. I don't Memang think so. Memang tak. Mm. Oh. <laughs> lepas daripada tu pula. <laughs> Um, okay, so <coughs> my next question is about albums juga. So, 2013, uh, Ikut Rintakku was actually your last album that you released. Bukan single album. Sure. Yes. And uh, selepas tu, tak ada album lagi. So, I nak tanya sebenarnya pasal macam perubahan dalam industri okay. uh, music. Sebagai seorang penyanyi yang memang menyanyi sejak sebelum uh, kemunculan TikTok dan social media dan sebagainya. Dan streaming, which really, really... Uh, yeah. Change the whole landscape of of lagu Sebab sekarang kita tak akan beli Physical Bukan kita album. tak akan lah maybe, <coughs> maybe ada juga orang yang macam super Suka simpan mm-hmm. rekod semua tu Tapi kebanyakan ramai orang Akan stream je Betul. So macam mana benda tu mengubah Landscape sebagai seorang penyanyi Apa pendapat Jack sendiri So basically zaman sudah berubah Yeah. So bila zaman dah berubah Semuanya digital Everything is streaming Everything is on YouTube Apa-apa pun kita dah nampak like so many party dah tak relevant kadang-kadang even even major labels are going down because yeah. dah tak ada orang 
Mm-mm. Meaning Saya duduk kat rumah Dengan laptop saya Dengan phone saya Dah boleh buat satu lagu dah So I can just do it On my phone My garage band ke Whatever ke And I can just upload it Onto YouTube So everything is becoming In a way good Because dia memberikan peluang Kepada Mungkin yang Tak ada Like Platform Not say platform You don't have the capacity In the sense of You don't have monetary uh, Help to To put into a song mm-hmm. To book the studio Apa So semuanya sekarang Because technology is so great Semua dah boleh buat sendiri dah mm-hmm. Like literally So this way You get a lot more people Coming out With You know You don't have To be signed to a label You don't have to Hire someone To write your songs for you You don't have to Hire musicians ke apa ke. So that In a way it's good But in a way It's not so good So in a way it's good Because you get more Mm, more new artists coming up. Mm. Tapi kadang-kadang it's quality versus quantity pun ada juga. Yeah. So dia ada kebaikannya, dia ada keburukannya. Of course bila kita ada um, penulis lagu yang tersoho, kita nak lagu so and so. So there's there's a name to it. Kira berat lah that the thing becomes um remember what's the word? <laughs> More like valuable or just, respected. Just, yeah, the, yeah, there is a certain kind of weight to like. Yeah. If you get somebody who's really big on your album, then of course it becomes more noticeable. You know, um, it's impactful. The song could be really impactful. Kalau kita buat sendiri, sometimes ala kadar kan? Yeah. So in a way, like there, I'm not saying semua orang ala kadar. Of course, ada penyanyi penyanyi yang sangat hebat kat situ. Tapi mungkin like, macam saya katlah tak ada tak berkemampuan sangat dari segi kewangan to invest satu lagu berapa berapa ribu ke whatever ke yeah. nak hire musician lah apa lah mahal. Mm. <laughs> so mm. yeah, faham? Yeah. So you do have good people who can really sing and who are also very talented. Pak pandai pakai software dekat komputer apa semua. So dia boleh keluarkan. Dan kalau kita tengok sekarang pun like all these underground bands, all these artis dari mana aku tak kenal nama tapi berjuta-juta follow- followers. So times are changing Mm-mm. and there are pros and cons and maybe this is the way the industry is moving. The whole world is going digital yeah, sekarang kan. Yeah, so yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. Sebab kalau dalam kalau dalam dunia lakonan pun kita sekarang boleh nampak macam ataupun even setakat social media sekarang ada AI. Have you seen that? The whole AI thing di mana orang macam boleh bentukkan macam sebiji macam manusia dengan um, teknologi yes. yang tak memerlukan seorang artis juga yang It, just, okay, wait, wait, wait I faham the thing is an imagery of you. Yes, but tapi it's... benda tu untuk apa saya tak tahu. Tak tahu tapi there like ada discussion sekarang yang diorang maybe akan keluarkan like films in the future with completely artistic Why? Yeah, but I tak ada kejap. Really? Bye. Tapi kita tak sure tak sure lagi lah sama Yo, ada benda tu akan like, akan itu memang sangat 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 lah in the future. Kot, tak yeah. Lah. Mm, tak ya kot, tak ya kot. <laughs> I I pun setuju dengan bab tu tapi maybe we're traditionalists I have no idea. So um now on a more personal level sure. um about you as a mom. Mm. So you have kids yes. and you're also still a singer and macam even recently you buat GV semua tu. Yeah, macam mana you time manage semua ni? And pada masa sama performance and just being there for your kids like benda ni sangat susah and saya selalu macam menghormati menghormati sangat um um working moms. Mm. Sebab saya rasa diorang memang super women of the mm. world yang really membolehkan <laughs> segala dunia untuk family tapi mm. yang berkejaya pada masa yang sama. So what was that like transition like for you um dalam career you dan dalam life Jack sekali. Ada humbus tau. Ya oh <laughs> maksudnya maksudnya satu perkataan penat. Yeah. Tiga perkataan penat tahap dewa. <laughs> yeah. Oh it's so tiring. Yeah. I'm quite hands on with my kids. Um I don't know lah. I I I like the fact that I'm able to spend time with them. Tapi memang susah lah sangat because now they're going to school lah pun. And I have to get up. Thank God my mom is there. Um <laughs> so my helper ran away last year. Yeah. Um saying she wanted to go back to the Philippines, miss my kids, blah 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 blah, pasu cabut. Um. So And I've been trying to get a helper since So Not having a helper is tough And I Because I'm working kan I, Bukan Bukan sahaja malam Kalau malam ya pun saya nak keluar nyanyi Dekat hotel ke apa pun 
I cannot leave my kids at home. So my yeah. mom has been very helpful. And I'm just trying to manage. So now that they're in school, dari pukul 8 pagi sampai pukul 2, hari Jumaat, 3 suku, I will arrange semua benda yang saya nak buat tu time diorang kat sekolah. So, saya hantar pergi sekolah, saya buat apa-apa yang perlu pergi gym ke, whatever lah. Whatever I'm doing my my this class, that class, yeah. whatever. Yeah. Pukul 2, bawa diorang balik. And then I I try as much as I can to stay at home. It's just, memang susah. Dan saya seperti biasa, Susah gila nak tidur awal. So, I'm a night bird. Yeah. So, I wake up early. I'm It's exhausted. Active, then, yeah. I don't drink coffee anymore. And I'm like struggling. But I still can't go to sleep early. So, I'm like burning the candle on both ends. Yeah. Just really, really tired. Um, I do not have a, a set. I mean, the, um, time management punya mana lah. I don't have. I just prioritize apa benda yang kena buat sekarang. So, if I know today is going to be a big day for the kids, got to go to PE lah, got to go here, got to go there, got this lesson, got that lesson. So, I, I don't, I do everything myself kan? So, I can ato, 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 ato. So, everything is revolving around my children's schedule. So, kalau ada kerja, everything else has to be secondary. Unless, yeah. unless I can get my brother, maybe if he's not working ke, whatever ke, to help, memang susah lah. Yeah. Mm, dengar pun dah penat kan? Ya, yeah, I, I, I tak boleh imagine sebab yang recently ni pun Jack masuk ke Gava Ganza. Ya. Yeah. Itu pun adalah macam... Mengambil ses- banyak masa. Pertandingan. And pertandingan macam biasa akan mengambil masa. Tapi kita ada banyak soalan sebenarnya pasal mm. Gava Ganza mm. ni mm. yang saya, saya nak touch juga. Which is like... I mean, firstly, time management of that. I think boleh nampak lah Jack seorang yang sangat-sangat berdisiplin. Boleh boleh dikatakan Sebab I, I tak tahu macam mana Benda ni boleh Menjadi something yang you boleh Laksanakan in your life Tanpa um, like a level of discipline and... I don't know about discipline <laughs> I'm so Not disciplined um, So okay Bila kita Kita sebagai penonton Dari rumah Bila kita tengok We see Snippets of what happens Tapi yeah. In actual fact Um Setiap hari Ahad Kita punya konsert tu kan Dah habis If I win That week or whatever I will be called To the press conference mm-hmm. Then nak kena ambil OOTD lah ni lah It's just a whole Thing And by the time I leave and get back home It's like pukul 3 pagi Again Bila you dah tengah macam ni Takkanlah balik rumah terus Terus Pengsan kan Mesti you nak You gotta calm down You nak mandi You wanna buang makeup You wanna this and that, so, and that. so by the time You go to sleep 4-5 pagi Pukul 8, kena bangun pergi sekolah. So, three hours. Then the whole day goes. Next day, hari Selasa, dah ada production meeting. Jumpa MD. It's like very banyak. tiring. Apa yang membuatkan Jack membuat keputusan untuk masuk ke Gava Ganza? Sebenarnya, saya tak nak beberapa tahun ni, diorang tengah tanya Jack masuklah. No way, Jose. I'm like, no. Uh. No way. No way. Because saya punya pemahaman uh, about this um, competition adalah so ni saya tak nak mengaku lah. <laughs> saya tak nak mengaku. Yang dah suam-suam kuku punya artis. Kalau tengok season pertama at least lah. Season 1, season 2. It's about people who haven't... Um, dah lama tak tak keluarkan single ke. Dah, dah lama tinggalkan bidang nyanyian ke. Hmm. Diorang buat benda-benda lain. So to make a comeback. They get called to Dia come back. So I was tak. under the impression. That oh that means kau tengah panggil aku ni means... Kau, kau nak cakap aku dah Faham dah Faham lah. so, Faham So that was Like an, maybe an ego thing I'm like no no hell no I'm not thinking about this competition Yeah Then they This this year oh, Sorry last year Last year tu They were start pancing awal tau They pancing dari Dari bulan berapa tau Dia tengah pancing Tengah pancing Tengah pancing They used A uh, lot of people lah I don't want to mention names A lot of people to come And like Cucuk-cucuk-cucuk bit Cucuk-cucuk bit Ya ke? Yang ni Ashka tak nak Ni datang seorang So dia attack dari segala angle tau Oh dia macam you Really under attack lah Jack No under attack lah You know what I mean Yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Ni kan So <laughs> And then I had a chat And then they explain Sebenarnya dia macam ni Macam ni Use this as a A platform Untuk berkarya lah Kau boleh buat apa saja kau nak. So, every week you're going to get the best band, um, the best sound system, best lighting, the best audience. And audience is so awesome. Untuk kau buat show. Mm. So, anggap seperti itu. Mm. And I thought, you know what, that's a good way of looking at it. Because, mana lagi nak dapat? Yeah. So, this is your chance to do buat whatever you want to do. Yes. Yeah. 
So I waited and waited and waited, hoping they'll forget, but they didn't forget. They kept pushing, 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 pushing. And I said, okay, lah. I think on the very last day, I said, okay, fine. Because <laughs> I was like, so I, of course, time tu, kita tak boleh nak tahu siapa lagi yang bertanding. Now, of course, benda tu memainkan peranan yang besar kan. Kejap lagi, kau letak Siti Nualiza kat situ. Kau letak Ziana Zain kat situ. Kau letak Ning Bajura kat situ. Mampus aku. <laughs> so, like, that was my... Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, I'm trying to correct. Cakap lah siapa. Bagi yeah, boleh, yeah. Boleh bagi tahu je. Cakap lah siapa. The one give me. So, Still. in the end, anyway, I said, okay lah, fine lah, whatever lah. Just take part. Yeah. And just take it as a place for you to do a show. And grow lah. Because, honestly kan, orang semua tak nampak ni. GV dia umpama not university. What's higher than university? Masters. Mm. Uh, whatever Masters lah. This juga is kan? really... So, kita semua penyanyi. Yeah. So, Tok Ram. Tok Ram. Uh, Ramli MS was the one who... He wants us to use our intellect. Because he knows kita semua boleh menyanyi. Mm-hmm. Tapi, I want to see macam mana you akan gunakan your intellect dalam satu lagu ni. Dalam satu persembahan ni. And it was an amazing experience. Banyak yang... Like, kadang-kadang kita fikir macam... Mm, aku dah... Aku dah tahu nyanyi dah. Aku dah ni, aku dah tu. But mm. he gets you to think out of the box. Macam mana untuk menjadikan... Because you you obviously you tengah bertanding dengan semua penyanyi-penyanyi yang hebat. Yeah. So apa benda yang you nak buat to stand out even more. So yeah. he calls it using your intellect lah. Your intellectual. So that was one of the best things about GV. Yeah. Mm, learning all that stuff that I learned. Yeah. Dia mencabar dari segi macam... Banyak segi. Yeah. Uh, tapi yang paling ni adalah macam mana untuk menonjolkan diri lebih lagi Mm-mm. sebagai seorang penyanyi. Faham? I think also tapi Amy ada terbaca lah macam beberapa comments um, apabila Jack masuk GV yang orang mengatakan tapi kenapa Jack nak kena masuk GV sebab level, level Jack, Jacqueline Victor is really just Ya, yeah, so ada orang yang katakan benda tu Ramai Ya, yeah, tapi apa pendapat Jack Pasal okay. komen-komen yang macam tu Pendapat saya My 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 personal opinion is That um, Saya dah lama tak keluarkan album I think dah lama tak keluarkan lagu Berapa tahun juga kot mm-hmm. Saya tak keluarkan lagu So, I've been surviving on Um Shows yang nak kata sangat kerap pun tak. So, I'm just getting by. Mm. And once I dah masuk dalam kepala saya yang okay. Sekarang ni, I faham kenapa I tengah nak masuk pertandingan ni. Then it made sense to me that I think it's fair for me to be in this competition lah. Mm-hmm. So, kalau orang nak cakap saya tak patut masuk ke apa ke, A lot of people who who dengar the sus-sus oh, Jack nak masuk, Jack nak masuk. Of course, I kena, I kena menafikan lah kan. Tak boleh sebab... Selagi belum ada PC Saya yeah, tak boleh nak cakap Yeah, yeah. I can't Cannot say So <clears throat> So when people come and say like, Jack I heard you gonna You don't lah Don't don't take part Bila eh gila lah Memang tak lah aku nak join GV so I just Played along Of course I hate lying So mm. I had to like Kind of dodge the question Or, yeah. or just Pusing-pusing divert, sikit tapi, Macam you turn Tak mungkin, ah, tak mungkin, tak mungkin. <laughs> um, So finally Masa dia buat PC And And the 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 actual who's taking part came out then. Uh, kena lah. I think. I think kita orang kena hentam banyak juga kot time tu. Mm-hmm. Few of us lah. Sheila, Tomok, Bob, myself. Semua. Uh, boleh boleh tahan lah kena hentam. Like. Hentam masih. Mm-hmm. Lah. Mm-hmm. Tapi. Pendapat Amy. Walaupun tak sure benda ni relevant. Pendapat saya memang tak relevant lah kepada situation ni. Tapi. <laughs> Amy sendiri rasa macam. It's such a amazing thing. Sebab. Um, dengan Jack punya position kan As who you are Dengan semua benda yang you pernah achieve mm. Untuk Still Put ada Put myself out there Yeah It's like something yang sangat-sangat inspirational kepada Amy Sebab I think dalam mana-mana career kan Kita tak kisahlah Kita dah capai apa je dalam our career is so important to be humble Which you are Thank you. On such an incredible level Tapi pada masa yang sama Untuk macam still Want to Be willing to Be open to Growth mm. And pushing yourself Itu Bukan biasa lah Kita jumpa Macam as a Thank you saying that Um, I feel It was 
it was something that saya tak faham. Yeah. Kalau tak saya rasa mungkin saya dah masuk sebelum-sebelum ni kot. Kot. Yeah. But again, everything has its time and place. So yeah. I believe that I needed to I needed to take part in GV9. Yeah. 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 Itu memang yeah. your time yeah. kan. Again, kita tak tahu siapa yang bertanding tau. Yeah. It's just like, okay, I'm just putting myself out here and then I'm going to find out later who's in the competition. And like yeah. I say lah, if all these big names are in mati lah ko. <laughs> But also one of the things that <clears throat> was um, assuring was that it wasn't based on votes. It was based on the judges. Yes. Sebab kadang-kadang yeah. votes ni macam, mm, tak sure. Kata, bukan nak kata rakyat tak pandai menilai, but technically and pada tahap Penyanyi yang With the people The beautiful people That I competed with It's another level altogether It's not about favoritism It's not about It is comel aku suka no It yeah. is strictly based on your performance yeah. On your uh, Vocal ability Yeah uh, So Itu salah satu faktor yang sangat besar Yang boleh buatkan saya kata okay Kalau votes I'll, be, I'll, be, I'll say no lah I'm so yeah. sorry No. Yeah. So once it was explained to me, okay, ni tempat kau berkarya, buat apa yang kau nak, mana lagi kau nak dapat platform yang besar gila babi. Um, can I say gila babi? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and um, also it's 100% based on the judges. I'm yeah. like, okay, fine. Yeah, so faham. Go. I, you know, it's kalau tak menang pun tak apa. It's still very big exposure. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. what I thought. Which is another thing yang Amy setuju 100% sebab saya rasa macam untuk artis-artis yang semua dekat level 2, mm. dia macam tak cukup um, <laughs> penonton dekat rumah tak cukup berpengalaman ataupun beril, tak cukup ilmu untuk boleh menilai dengan cara yang menghormati mm. artis tu sendiri. Tapi it's another thing sebab saya dengar, oh not saya dengar lah, I shouldn't speak for other people. For me, okay, dia macam ni. Oh takkanlah Jack Or, or Sheila Or Tomo Or Bob Or whoever lah pun Dah ada dekat satu level lah Okay they keep saying that level kan Okay so at this level Lepas tu Nak disekolahkan mm. I was so proud To yeah. have Shafinas And uh, Ibu Hetty And also Tok Ram commenting Because yeah. that's how you grow If yeah. I'm so Big headed and like Angkuh lah dah Like aku nyanyi paling hebat kat dunia Yeah And aku tak nak terima teguran kau Padahal these are valid Legit Opinions like, yeah. yeah So I was so honored to To even be able to perform for them So I think that it's a It's a personal thing mm. So I don't know if a lot of people Would be open to that Mm-mm. But How else do you grow If you don't If you Kalau you just nak selamat je duduk kat sini Okay aku rasa aku dah selesa Tak ada apa yang aku nak buat Aku nyanyi aku dapat show ni But you don't want to You don't want to Mencabar diri mm. Mm. So this was a very big cabaran lah of course kan yeah. Setiap minggu Jantung dekat sini ha Yeah So <laughs> macam mana Macam mana penggambaran Macam um, Gagal bagan Zah Were you nervous Were you stressed So You do not know imagine. me, girl. Yeah. Mm-mm. Macam mana, Ustaz? I am a nervous wreck. Like tak me. boleh imagine. Tak, betul, betul, betul. Ni dari dulu. Ni bukan benda baru, eh. And I keep saying it. Mungkin orang ingat saya just cakap je. Tapi sebenarnya memang, I can literally, my chest is like pounding. And I'm like, God, God, help me. Just calm my heart down. Because this song is going to be terribly susah lah. Bila, yeah. bila nada rendah, you should, your voice will shake. Yeah. Your heart is going bum 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 bum. You can literally see it go bum 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 bum, and you're like, oh God, help me, help me, help me. Yeah. I'm like constantly praying. Yeah. But it was amazing. The, the whole experience. Would I do it again? Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> not. Stress too. Tapi it was a really amazing yeah. experience. I mean, for what it's worth, you look so confident Thank on stage. Thank you Macam so much. Tapi I can't believe. Seriously. Percayalah. Yeah, kita percaya lah. sekarang lah. Tapi yeah. macam percaya tu pun macam, are you sure? Sebab tak ada. You have a lot of pictures of me standing on stage. I'm masa VT tengah uh, playing in the background. Roll, yeah. And I got my hands up. And people are thinking, who is she talking to? Girl? <laughs> I'm like just praying, God help me. Yeah, faham. Yeah. Tapi okay, di antara your performances dekat, <laughs> dekat Gagal Perganza, ada satu yang I rasa oh sangat jomel, yang sangat-sangat the best. Dia dangdut kan? No, no. Dangdut tu satu je. Tapi you also did, uh, you did a rap. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> the, the Eminem Slim one. Shady. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh my goodness! <laughs> I spent so much time on that one song. It was song. good. <laughs> Crazy. I mean, I'm not even gonna lie. He's that's a 
what do you call it like syncopation or whatever his tempo I, I lagi lah takkan tahu tapi dia macam sangat sangat lah bad gila siu that song yeah <laughs> yeah, yes. tapi you that killed it like every week. I don't know if I killed it. I think the bit that people liked was when I thought Shafina said, "Oh, you're wearing sunnies because you're like, trying to cheat." <laughs> and I'm like, "No, I'm not going to cheat. I'm going to take it out and I'm going to do it now." And it was like fella or something or the band finally came in and I'm yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, "Oh lord, oh lord, oh lord." Yeah. And so yeah, it was it was it was fun. Macam-macam lah dekat show tu sebenarnya. Yeah, Sangat yeah, I know it's fun time. It's, GV is is something else. The mm-hmm. whole show, the audience, punya, the whole energy. Oh, yeah, something else really. Time to Amy tengah shooting, dengan Michael. Michael. Yeah, and so we would all have recap sessions. The guy said, "Minggu ni the guy gagal again." Then we'd all have like a breakdown session. No, but it's crazy. The energy in there is something else. The fans are amazing. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I totally imagine. Oh, Dua crazy, minum crazy. apa, I tak tahulah. <laughs> Tapi memang... Ooh. Banyak Red Bull <laughs> sebelum the show. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, I guess macam the final question, I think, for the segment is apa yang seterusnya untuk Jad? Macam 2023, kita dah terlambat sebenarnya nak tanya Azam apa. Tapi macam apa Shadow plan... I don't remember what's my Azam tahun ni. Tak ada Azam pun. I dah give up sebenarnya dengan Azam. <laughs> macam dah tak ada, tak, 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 tak larat lah nak buat Azam um, dah. Um... What's next for me? Yes. Um, okay, so sejak menang bulan berapa hari tu? Bulan 11, akhir bulan 11, I thought, okay, tunggu saat, don't rush, take time to uh, work on some music so that when we put something out, dia bukan lagu ala kadar. Mm-hmm. Um, so, of course, kita tak nak keluarkan lagu, just semata-mata nak keluarkan lagu. We want something really, really good. So, we've been planning quite a few things. Um, so it will be that lah. We want a really good song out. Yeah. And then hopefully oh, follow awesome. up with it. Yeah, it's high time already. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so kita semua kat luar sana boleh nanti nanti kan. Kalau saya balik hari ni dan saya bagi tahu my family pasal this good news pasal lagu baru, mm. I rasa orang akan menangis. Orang really? pun akan <laughs> just <laughs> really? yeah. Orang hardcore fans. They're, oh, they're huge, so huge fans. Yeah, so yeah. we want a really good song. Sometimes I feel like, because I'm going to be 45 this December. And then when you think about the people who compete, like Kalau Kalau, AJL ke, um, all these big com- competitions, you see all these young chikus there. And then you're like, okay, what do you want to do, Jackie? You're 45 <laughs> this year, what do you want to do? As in, do you want to put out a song to compete? Because that's obviously when you put out a song, of course, kita nak masuk music, music kita nak masuk yeah. all this charta charta Semua. and everything. And then I'm like, really, do you still want to compete? I'm like, oh my goodness. <laughs> But okay, <coughs> I can just up something. Kita yes. baru je tengok again. For I think this is kali sepuluh kot yang I pernah tengok your performance dekat AJL 20 of Gemilang. Mm. You were in this orange dress mm. with this orange bandana. Mm. And tak tahulah. It's a, I guess no, it's it, a, it's it, it was like a, it was like a like band. a yeah. like a hairband hairband yeah. sorry not bandana hairband and um, I think macam some kalau lah kita kami kami mm. sebagai rakyat Malaysia mm. dapat tengok Jack sekali lagi dekat pentas AJL it's Ooh. it's gonna be such a like an iconic like I rasa the whole auditorium buat kali pertama oh, dalam my. sejarah senyap really untuk dengar yes. If I was to take part in AJL, I again, mean, you ada lagu kita nak keluar kan? Tiba-tiba kita nak jadi penghasut dekat sini. <laughs> kena, kena, kena. No, lah, that's what I'm saying. So, saya rasa lot of the, I'm not calling myself otai, tapi saya sedar umur saya dah berapa. Otai. So, tapi saya rasa tak ada sangat otai bertanding sekarang ni. I think. Mm-mm. Or am I wrong? Tak, betul. I know I think it's because it's pasal apa yang kita cakap tadi which is the fact that like macam bila dah sampai dekat satu tahap or you have so much of people looking up to you mm. untuk jadi seorang yang still terbuka hati untuk menerima Tapi benda criticism. Tapi best tau sebenarnya. Yeah. It's such a, a thing to put yourself in that position untuk bertanding. Sama if you bertanding dengan kejap eh, kat GV was I the old? No, I was not the oldest. But I was among the older ones lah. Then yeah. you have all these young young chikus. Yeah, but still, to put yourself there, to it's called challenging yourself. Yeah, mm. it is. But at the same time, I think like for maybe for a lot of people, I mean, I don't know because I'm not in that position. I tak 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 dekat pun dengan jadi otai. But I would assume that 
obviously with they a lot of success put themselves yeah risiko tu position. untuk macam kalau lah tiba-tiba macam hari ni saya tak dapat perform macam mana saya expect ataupun whatever sekarang daripada kedudukan yang selamat di mana saya sudah ada nama saya sudah ada peminat semua tu sekarang saya mengambil risiko tu adakah risiko tu berbaloi kalau dia you know I think you got more to gain than lose lah but that's me yeah tapi I, I I would agree. And also it's pushing yourself. Like I say lah, kalau you rasa you dah selesa, hmm, tak payahlah. Aku yeah. dah selesa, aku duduk nyanyi kat show ni, show tu. Then you're not elevating yourself. Yeah, which is true. Hmm. So kalau you masuk bertanding, especially kalau you bertanding dengan yang muda-muda, muda-mudi. Like Aina Abdul. Yeah. Like Ernie Zakri. These are all crazy powerhouse singers as well. Damn okay, me. so they're young, a lot younger. Tapi... Saya pun muda lagi je. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, tapi sebenarnya lagu is a timeless thing. Pen? Like songs are timeless. To- tongs pula. Tongs pun sebenarnya timeless. <laughs> saya dah pakai hair straightener saya dah <laughs> macam 10 tahun dah. <laughs> no, I mean it's like, it is nice to be able to put yourself out of your comfort zone. Yeah. And compete with the younger ones. Yeah. So one of the biggest performances for me masa GV yang saya sangat stress sebab lagu sangat besar. And I'm going to have Ain Abdul as my guest singer. Mm-mm. I was like, I was so stressed. No amount of makeup could hide my stress. I just look so whacked. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> I was so focused on I have to deliver the song as best as I can. Because I'm singing with people. Yeah. Young, young children like Ain <laughs> Abdul, you see? Whose energy is at a different level. And all. I'm like, okay. And she was amazing. Yeah. Such a good girl So I just loved it But like I say lah The Stress And the pressure On my face No amount of makeup Could save my face That night <laughs> I didn't care I didn't care How I looked I was like As long as you sound Like you're singing properly <laughs> Really honestly Oh uh-huh. Yeah uh-huh. Uh-huh. So it's nice It's not For me Saya suka Bila saya Boleh nak nyanyi Because then you Otherwise you're just Gonna wish Yeah. So it's nice to put yourself there and go yeah. up against all these new yeah. new um and very very talented singers yeah. as well. Mm-hmm. True. Okay, so kita dah sampai dekat penghujung of the first segment. Tapi kita ada dua lagi. And the next one is kita kena memberi nasihat kepada penonton Studio Sembang. Baiklah. So kita um, selalu membuka talian WhatsApp untuk diorang kat rumah untuk hantar um, whatever questions ataupun masalah yang diorang ada. Normally kita dapat masalah sebab kita... Um, nak bagi nasihat lah ni sure. So this is the family's question for this week It says Hello everybody uh, I am an anonymous age 25 female I nak tanya pendapat SS dan guess Macam mana nak stay positive and kekal fit Kalau hidup ni ada bermacam-macam masalah I ni breadwinner Adik-adik I sekolah lagi Sometimes I rasa macam tak fair Sebab I je kena berkorban untuk orang. I belajar pun tak habis Bila cuti kerja I lepak rumah je Malas nak jumpa kawan-kawan Sebab nobody actually faham perasaan I Maybe guess this time boleh bagi opinion dia Thanks Wow, that's yeah. a hard That's a one. hard situation. So, bila you're the only breadwinner, I anggap you yang paling sulung lah. Yeah. And I would assume lah, dia, dia tak specify. And if you are, yelah, sulung lah adik-adik. Tapi kan? dia cakap adik-adik yeah. I, yeah. And kalau you sole breadwinner, then mungkin your parents dah tak ada or... Yeah, tu pun tak clear. Okay, not clear. But I think this is a very tempat It's a it's a very tempat pula amna. It's a very Kedudukan. difficult position to be in because you're only 25 tapi tanggungjawab you sangat besar and you can um you know you've got to be responsible for your adik-adik untuk sekolah, Mm-mm. nak jaga pemakanan, nak jaga segala benda tu memang memang tak adil. Tapi mm. that's a choice you make and that's a wonderful thing that you're doing and hopefully your Adik-adik akan bersyukur lah, you know, that you are doing all that you can. But like I say, not a very, um, not a great position to be in because you yourself are so young and you yourself have so much to look forward kan dalam hidup. You pun ada keinginan, you nak keluar, nak lepak dengan kawan-kawan ke, you nak pergi belajar sama belajar sendiri ke, tapi tak boleh, then you kena bekerja untuk tanggung adik-adik. So that is... Sangat-sangat susah. Hmm... How to stay strong? I just, I don't know. Um, I think mungkin. I don't know. Let's see. Um, kalau 
Amy ada apa-apa nak tambah I guess it would be just like um, You kena remind yourself Kenapa Why are you doing this? Ya Kenapa awak Mengambil tindakan ni Kenapa awak Masih menjaga mereka Sebab orang adik-beradik And obviously Ada banyak kasih sayang Dekat situ And Kadang-kadang dengan adik-beradik Kalau Awak sendiri Ataupun dengan mana-mana family kan Kadang-kadang ada Ada masa yang kita Macam jaga family kita And kita tak rasa macam Diorang hargai. sepenuhnya Ya hargai Ataupun berterima kasih Tapi pada masa yang kita perlukan Mereka Mereka juga yang yang ada Tanpa Oh yeah. I think a lot of a lot of um, orang lah secara am um, amnya um, orang kadang-kadang tak nampak pengorbanan uh, someone else someone else's sacrifice. So basically sekarang ni you tengah berkorban your masa depan your uh, time in itself your money apa benda untuk menanggung adik beradik apa semua. So we can only hope and pray that your adik beradik akan rasa Grateful and not take you for granted Because itu yang boleh buatkan sakit hati yang betul-betul yeah. Sebab you rasa macam Aku dah tengah buat semua yang aku boleh Tapi kau macam tak bersyukur Ya yeah. yeah. So that one takes A, a lot, of, lot of mental strength yeah. hmm. mm. I'm so sorry you're in that position Yeah. It's not funny 25 years old Still yeah. a child mm. Mm. True Tapi adik-adik pun still children juga Macam mm, Yeah. I think so, lah dia. Yeah, if anything just cuba nak fokus kepada apa-apa yang positif yang ada kat dalam kehidupan awak untuk menyenangkan penja- perjalanan awak. And also you're a girl. See this girl power. Ini namanya girl power dan perempuan lain. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> perempuan <laughs> lain eh. Perempuan imagine if a single mother is left with children, she will do whatever she will become a lioness. She will take care of her children. She will do whatever she needs to do to make sure that her children are okay. Yeah. There you go. So, that's what you're doing, right? So, walaupun adik-beradik, tapi you're like a, a mom right now. So, just anggap lah that God is going to bless you so much for sacrificing what you are sacrificing in order to membesarkan adik-adik you. Yeah. Hmm. So, itulah dia. Hopefully, pendapat tu boleh membantu Siapa dia yang tanya soalan ni lah Dekat rumah Tapi kita hantar a lot of love to you guys <laughs> Yeah And moving on now Kita ada our last rapid fire segment Yay. Which is always my favorite Rapid cool, fire yeah. <coughs> um, So <laughs> Okay Are you ready? I think so <laughs> I selalu bagi macam uh, disclaimer Yang ni adalah segmen yang paling hangat Dengan soalan-soalan hangat. panas <laughs> And soalan panas yang pertama ni Yelah Yes Singing in the shower Or dalam kereta dalam traffic jam Paling apa? Favorite dah? Paling Dua-dua. favorite. Dua-dua? Okay lah. More kepada kereta-kereta. More kereta. kepada kereta. Tak payah traffic jam pun tak pernah kereta. <laughs> tak kisahlah jam ke tak. Okay, boleh? Mm. Um, the next one. What's your favorite activity bersama your kids? Oh, Lord. Ooh, I need to think quick. Rapid fire. Hello. Um, tak pernah rapid pun sebelum ni. Tak apa. Uh, favorite activity with my kids lah. Hmm, got so many. Um, dang, I can't think. Okay, I have a question. Do they sing? Yes. Oh my. Do you want to hear? Oh my god, yes. Are you kidding? Yes. This is my daughter when my helper was still around now. Okay, hold on. Now I got to find this. Okay, suddenly I must have ada soalan tambahan yeah, tau. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Silakan. Okay, would you ever um what encourage if, them to Yes, sing? encourage them to be singers pro- like professionally. My daughter is I think just built for it. She'll be like, "Hi. Hi guys. My name is Molly Marguerite." Welcome to my YouTube channel. Oh, did I say that? When she was little. Wait, I gotta show you. Where is this video? She's singing in Tagalog as well. Huh? Um, hey, what? Okay, I'm gonna play this for you. Hold on, me unsilent it. Snacking post to Donaka Nagisa. Oh, Ikang Lagi Hana Pana. Yay! 
Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for singing the Tagalog songs. Tagalog. Tagalog songs. <laughs> she was She's such a cutie. I cannot. This is. I can't remember when. She just loves singing. They both love. They both like singing. But this one, this little girl, my goodness. She's got so much character. Look at you. Did, her did eye contact with the camera? She's like, yes, thank you. This is my show. <laughs> Yeah, no, they both love uh, singing. Oh, I told me. Really, really like singing. Oh, if she came to you one day and she's like, Mom, I want to be a singer. I know my soul. Okay. AJL. My soul. <laughs> See, like, and, yeah. I think I would encourage them to maybe study for school. <laughs> I mean, like in my case, I tak ada peluang time too because my mom was raising four children. Apa semua. So kalau saya nak belajar pun saya kena tanggung diri sendiri lah. Uh, but singing came first, so memang tak sempat untuk saya nak. Actually, I wasn't very academic at all like that. I was more into sports. Apa semua. So dan nyanyian lah. So kalau boleh dan selagi saya mampu, saya nak make sure dia belajar. Yeah. Sejauh mana yang dia boleh pergi lah yeah. And then Kalau on the side Dia nak nyanyi ke apa ke But of course The pool untuk masuk dalam uh, Industri hiburan Lebih memanggil lah Daripada yeah. aku nak pergi belajar Ke universiti kan So yeah. We'll see I mean Yeah Yeah. Apa-apa pun If she, if she ever, ever decide, decides To become a singer She has you mm. And itulah macam Satu sangat Kelebihan I mean, Kelebihan try. Yeah, no, of course. <laughs> so, anyways, kembali kepada Ida off track sangat okay, tadi. Tapi, you know, it's my bad. Um, the next <laughs> one is, um, if uh, Jack boleh pilih siapa-siapa dalam dunia ni uh, untuk duet, mm. siapa? Steven Tyler, Aerosmith. <gasps> I love, love. Wow, okay. Tak David sangat? Coverdale. David Coverdale. That would be cool. I think all of it would be cool. I, I'm still like trying to manifest, you know, the White House. I know, right? Stevie yes. Wonder. Okay, Stevie you Wonder. Know, Stevie Wonder. Mm. Boleh lah. Banyak <laughs> yang best kat situ. So, hopefully, hopefully, we will see one. Um, the next one is uh, any pre-show like ritual? ritual? No. Not really. Uh, I just like to kind of calm myself down. Normally... Kalau nak nyanyi Biasanya kan Klien akan minta lagu ni ke Lagu tu ke Sometimes tak pernah buat lagu Apa-apa like Whatever they, they've, they've suggested I've never done before Then I nak duk menghafal Lyrics Yeah that's That's the main thing I, I'm horrible With memorizing lyrics So <laughs> I'll probably be memorizing lyrics Warm up a little bit Bada-bada-bada Tapi konon macam cool ah, Macam tu Yeah faham Okay Everyone got their own process Um, The next one is The lagu yang of yours yang paling susah hmm hmm let's say koleksi gemilang lah kau say 10 minit panjang kan ya yeah, koleksi gemilang ok kalau I tak tanya soalan ni uh, I akan keluar and Shaz ni akan tikam I apa dia soalan macam ni? mana koleksi gemilang boleh wujud Okay, so time tu saya di bawah uh, label Sony 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 Music atau Sony BMG, and then uh, ada satu idea lah yang somebody else had done it in another country. So dia kata kat Malaysia belum pernah ada orang buat. Yeah. So we call it koleksi gemilang because kita nak ambil dua puluh empat lagu yang kira meletup lah. So from different eras, different genres apa semua dan kita ambil yang terbaik daripada a list of don't know how many songs dan kita akan Cantumkan So you just sew it together Sew it together To make a really long song So jadinya Walaupun 24 lagu Tapi dia akan Jadikan ni macam Satu lagu Yeah So I was like Okay I'm game for anything Okay lah Yeah So we did it um, Naikong was the music uh, Producer The arranger And the producer And I went into the studio And I just nanyi je lah Koleksi Gemilang Okay ni rahsia juga Tapi kita dah bagi tahu Dah Jack tadi Tapi koleksi Gemilang Is me and my entire team's favourite oh, nice. Karaoke song to sing okay, Sebab semua Sekarang kena nyanyi untuk saya Oh tak boleh Oh tak boleh tak boleh tak boleh. Yang tu kejap lagi Bila kamera tu tak ada Nanti kita hantar je lah Voice note je lah Saya tentap bukan Tapi maybe Diorang kat luar berani lah Tapi normally Diorang akan macam Assignkan setiap part Ada seorang yang memang Mewakili part tu So kita semua akan Take turns on the mic Sampai bergaduh-gaduh Kat dalam Sebab wow. Diorang macam tak boleh Nak tentukan part mana Koleksi gemilang Yang dia nak Sambil dia nak Sambil 
Yeah, every single time Kita on karaoke Confirm I can do Your voice at least Like a lot of people Like that song sebab Love it lagu, yeah. yeah It's really fun Cuma key dia Agak ke langit sikit lah Oh Memang Even susah Even for me Sometimes I feel like Tinggi ni It just sounds like I'm up there All the way through I mean It's quite high lah. It is It I is very say, high Because I tried to sing it And it was like No way Saya pernah buat lagu ni live But like I say lah It's just Feels macam Terpekit Yeah <laughs> A little bit terpekit And like Just like Ting okay. Yeah Yeah But it's a, a beautiful Thank Concept you. It I is think. right Very yeah, very very cool Sangat sangat lah cool Okay So the final question is What is your favorite joke? Okay this one's really funny I promise you What kind of a computer is a really good singer? Anybody? No takers? Anybody? No what, takers? what is it? Adele. <laughs> <laughs> Adele. Adele is We a really good singer. We have to say Final. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yes. Okay. I got one more that I say for you. Go on. Can I tell it to you? <laughs> <laughs> Who is Santa's favorite singer? Oh, <clears throat> I don't know. Elvis Presley. <laughs> Elvis Presley, oh my goodness. Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley. <laughs> nice one. <laughs> so it's like you. Episode coming Thank with the Thank you so Thank much you for so spending much. time Please. with us. I hope you had fun. I did, um, I did. Thank you, thank you. We had the best time ever. You guys kena tengok the BTS juga sebab saya rasa BTS minggu ni paling... I kena minta maaf on behalf Why? of semua orang kat luar sana sebab this is the paling gelaba, paling Why? like Why? macam yeah, kesini kesana. Dia orang, I think for the past two hours sebelum sampai ke the office, kita semua macam, Jack is coming today. <laughs> like, oh my God. <laughs> Shazni's like, she's like singing in the corner. She's like, anyways. <laughs> I'm like, I just cannot with this. And then you arrive and everyone's like, Jack's here, Jack's here, Jack. There was like pandemonium. And I was like, guys, hold it together. <laughs> I was like, hi, Jack. Welcome to the office. <laughs> Tapi yeah, sebenarnya kat dalam kecoh. Good fun. Good yeah, fun, good everyone's like a huge, huge, huge Yay, fan here. So, so we've been like dying to have you on the show. So thank, thank you sebab so um, meluangkan masa bersama kami. Thank you guys. Yeah. And thank, thank you, you guys kat rumah sebab uh, sudi menonton Studio Sembang and lepak dengan kita kat dalam studio. And jangan lupa um, kita akan bertemu lagi minggu depan dalam Studio Sembang 10 malam YouTube, Spotify and Apple Podcast. Terima kasih guys.